Hi, and welcome back to another Mindset Monday. My name is Shawanda, and this week we're going to talk about lessening the stress in our lives. Well, let's start with our scripture this week. It is from Philippians 4, 5 through 7. All right, and it reads, Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known, be made known to God. And this is coming from the NSRV, all right? So... Last week we talked about, or last time we talked about pushing past the fear. And this week I want to talk to, talk a little bit more about what is stressing us out. Well, when we're talking about things that kind of stress us out, these are like everyday things such as work, getting older, and worrying about what others think, as well as our mistakes. How do you deal with these factors of life and still pursue life? Well, let's just jump right into it. Well, when we're talking about work, right? Work is something that causes a lot of worry in our lives, um, especially for a lot of people. When you're talking about your careers, you're filled with stressful situations like projects and tasks and errands and emergencies, all the little things that you have to do, and which adds up to like a lot of times all the huge things that you have to do. Sometimes it just seems like you just have so many big things you have to do that you just absolutely cannot get them all done. And it just leaves you going berserk all the time, right? You're going crazy. Um, of course, the worry of work definitely can be alleviated by doing what you love. So which means that you're sometimes less stressed about it if it's something that you're very, very passionate about. But if you don't really love what you do, then, you know, maybe it's time to think about, is this something that you can let go of? And I get it. That is not the case for everyone all the time. So this is not an... Um, a promotion for everyone to just like jump off their job because everyone has different responsibilities and different situations and where you have to make certain sacrifices at certain times, right? So, but sometimes it is a means to an end, but let's work on an exit plan for that. But that's for another time. Um, but here's the thing, when we're talking about, you know, how do you change the situation that you're in where it's, you know, a little less stressful for you, then let's work on how you can be more productive and reduce some unhealthy habits and distractions in your workplace so that you can increase productivity and minimize your stress. So that's what you can do in your workplace. That's something that you have control over um, for yourself. How can you be more productive, uh, reduce some unhealthy habits and reduce some distractions in your workplace so that you can minimize your stress? The less you worry at work, then the quicker time goes on. But the more things that you have going on, then it just kind of makes your day feel like it's going on forever. And that is not what you want. All right. So that's work. That's the one thing you can control. So try to work on that. All right. Getting older. People stress about getting older. Um, and I also noticed that for it's, it's interesting how people who are actually younger, <laughs> like very, very young, tend to stress about getting older, whereas, um, say, an older generation didn't really stress as much about getting older. So it's different for different generations on how you see getting older because of different things that are going on in your time. Um, because getting older, I get it. It can be difficult um, and it can seem very scary. And the thing is, is that you're going to get over. You're, you're, you're definitely going to get older. The question is, why are you stressing about something, again, that you have no control over? Um, so we need to look at um, the fears and anxieties that you have. So it's again, it's no doubt that um, that you're, you're going to get older, right? Because we're all going to get older, but we can't do anything about it to stop the actual process. There are things you can do to not look older, but you're still getting older. So you, you can't, um, you can't change the process. What you can do is you can learn to embrace the moments that you have and learn to make the most of your time. And so instead of stressing about something that's going to happen in 10 years or in five years or even in 20 years, what's happening in the moment that you're in? And are you missing the beautiful moments that you're in and enjoying those moments 
or are you missing them so much because you're worried about what's going to happen 20 years from now or 30 years from now or five years from now or even two years from now? You're missing so much. So instead of stressing about something that's going to happen years down the road and the process that is inevitably going to happen, embrace the moments that you have. So when you hit those milestones in five years and 10 years, you also have memories that you can also look and embrace and cherish and say, I remember when and I did, because if not, you're going to hit those time frames in five years and 10 years and you're still gonna be stressing about another five and 10 years down the road, and you're never gonna have anything to look back on to say, man, I actually did. Man, I actually accomplished. And oh, how it felt good. And how wonderful it felt and how beautiful something was. You're not gonna be able to have those heartfelt, cherishable moments. So cherish them now because they're just passing you by while you're anxious about something that you have no control over, All right? Um, the next one is uh, worrying about what other people think. We do this a lot. So worrying about what other people think, um, yeah, it just causes you to be unhappy with yourself. And you're constantly allowing what is on someone's mind or what you think is on someone's mind to impact your whole entire life. It's like, you can't change what's on their mind. You can't change how they feel. Um, honestly, how they feel about you, you don't even know how they feel about themselves. So let alone, how are you letting what they think about you impact how you feel about you? Um, we have to do better than that, right? So you can control how you feel about you and be proud of the things that you can do for you. So. You know, with things like social media, it seems like everybody's always in everybody's business. People are just always judgmental about things. And, you know, we want to be like, you know, we, we want to be like this person or be doing what somebody else is doing. But in the end, you should just be walking your own path. And the person who walks their own path, the person that is their true, authentic self, well, you're the inspiration that somebody else wants to follow because no one really wants to follow someone who doesn't know who they are. And that's the truth. And no one wants to follow someone who is controlled by what everybody else believes. So be your true, authentic self and be an inspiration to other people. So stop caring what other people think and just be you. Nobody can be you better than you, all right? Um, and then the last one is worrying about mistakes or the mistakes that you've made in the past it's just nonsense. A mistake is a mistake. It happens. We all make them. Um, you know, we, we try to live in this world of perfection, but nobody's perfect, right? The only person that, one that was perfect was Jesus. And we ain't Jesus. Um, so we're not walking around in perfection. So um, there's no need to worry about those mistakes. Here's the thing about mistakes. Um, again, we all, we all make mistakes. Um, the key is figure out what caused the mistakes. Fix, fix it if possible and learn what you can to avoid making the mistake again. And then this way you can improve the outcome. If you don't learn from it, then of course you're gonna keep making that same mistake over and over. And at that point, you're literally just doing it on purpose. It's not a mistake anymore, it's a habit, okay? So learn from the mistake, like you do something, you make a mistake, um, and process it, process it, learn from it, see what you can do better, and then apply it and move on so that you can have a better outcome the next time. And that's how you continue to live in the moment and not worry about the mistakes that you're continuously making. If you don't change it, again, it just becomes a habit, all right? So these are things that you can do this week. These are your challenges for this week. So embrace them, work on them, things that you can do at work. Um, stop worrying about getting older and don't worry about what other people are thinking. And um, don't worry about the mistakes that you're making, but instead process them, learn from your lessons, apply the lessons that you've learned, and then move on from there. All right. Well, these are the things that you can do to kind of lessen your stress and to help you uh, in changing your mindset. Thank you for joining me on this Mindset Monday. Of course, 
let me know how you're doing this week. Again, you can reach out to me uh, at hello at shawandarandolph.com. And you can also just kind of drop some comments down in the box and just let me know how you're doing. And until next week, I will see you soon next time. Bye for now. Thank you.